All right, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Um, it's hard to believe it's almost over. What a blessing it has been to invest in your child's life this year. They have worked very hard and achieved so much. We really appreciate your support throughout the school year, and we could not accomplish what we do without all of you. So it is now time to begin the awards portion of the evening. It is during this time that we recognize the students who have excelled in various areas throughout the school year. We will begin by recognizing students who have excelled in special classes. Unfortunately, Mr. Carpenter was unable to be here tonight, so Mrs. Watkins will be presenting the PE award. Um, I will be presenting the PE award to Mr. Carpenter this year. There were six um, outstanding PE students this year. Um, for Mr. Carpenter, they gave their best effort, they had the best attitude, and they worked the hardest in the classroom. This year's PE students are Ashley McAndrews, <laughs> Jaden Hackerman, <laughs> congratulations, Maya Davis, <laughs> Wrong one. Maya. You don't want to be Ashley, do you? No. Jalen. Who are you? <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Way to go, Mr. Carpenter. All right. Andrew Gould. Dante Workman. And Allie Lesseher. I will now introduce Mrs. McFarlane for the Art Award. Hi, I'm Mrs. McFarlane, and this was my first year teaching art at Triton. Uh, this year has been both fun and challenging, and I hope the students enjoyed art as much as I did. The Art Awards aren't based solely on talent, but also largely on effort. Obviously, even the most famous artists hadn't reached their full potential by sixth grade, but effort and creativity played a huge role in their successes. A great artist sticks with the project, even when it's difficult, and isn't afraid to take risks. They treat difficult projects as challenges instead of chores. There are a lot of really great artists this year in sixth grade, but for the Art Award, I chose two students from each class who really stood out to me. This year's Art Award winners are Esai Lemler. Gabriel Tobalski, <laughs> Megan Sexton, <laughs> Travis Slaybaugh, <laughs> Kalissa Grindle, and Cameron McIntyre. <laughs> Next, Molly Kinsel will present the Music Awards. I chose the Music Awards based on uh, the hard work that the students did in the classroom. Most of the students enjoy some aspect of music, but maybe not all, and the ones that I chose worked very hard at every kind of activity that we did in music class. I'm very proud of them. The first one is Jackson Earl. Yeah. Ben Firestone. Kennedy Howard. <laughs> Keaton Large. Michelle Schwartz, Schwartz. <laughs> Jordan. 
Travis Slabaugh. And next is Mr. Seal with the band awards. Yes. Oops, I forgot. Wait a minute, I'm not done yet. <laughs> There's a couple more, sorry about that. Ben McFarland. I won't forget Ben. And there's still one more. And Megan Sexton. Now Mr. Seal can come up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Seal. I teach band and choir here at uh, the high school. Um, most of you that know me very well, I'm a man of very few words. I figured I'd get a little chuckle from the band students. Um, I'll be, uh, we'll be presenting uh, our top woodwind player, brass player, and percussion player. Uh, all the kids did really well this year in band. And uh, can we give them a round of applause for their performance tonight? <laughs> awesome. Our top woodwind uh, musician has demonstrated some really outstanding music ability as well as leadership. And this year's recipient goes to Katie Reichert. Our top brass player award goes to Dane and Titus. And our top percussion award goes to the dude that was on the drum set, Connor Setzel. Thanks a lot, band folks. It was a good year, and we're looking forward to next year. Next person up is Ms. Audifer. <laughs> 